Welcome, everyone. My name is Mike, and this is my colleague Sarah. This video is for those of you who were forced to flee your home country because of war, persecution, or other circumstances that made your life unsafe. Extreme life threatening and uncontrollable situations can cause a trauma. Trauma refers to an injury of the mind. Examples include war, torture, sexual violence, accidents or natural disasters. When we are in danger, our brain activates an automatic emergency plan. We react in one of the following ways. We prepare to fight, we seek to escape the situation, or we freeze and can't move at all. Often this emergency plan is also the reason why we can't think clearly or react normally. Hello, my name is Yusuf. One year ago I was forced to leave my home country. I had to flee through the desert and cross the sea in a small boat. I was terrified. Even long after my arrival I still did not feel safe. One morning, when I was boiling water for my tea, it began. I stared at the boiling water, but all I could see was the dark ocean in front of me. For this painful moment, I was back on that boat again. Since then, I avoid everything that reminds me of my escape journey from my homeland, and I can't sleep anymore. The negative effects on my life are unrelenting. I'm always exhausted, and I can hardly concentrate. My name is Salma. My husband, our children and I had to flee our country a few months ago. My home is a war zone. Every time we left our house, we feared for our lives. This is still a heavy burden for me. I'm stressed and nervous all the time. Every little sound makes me jump as if a bomb is exploding right in front of our house. Then I get angry. Later I regret my overreaction. All these thoughts about the war give me headaches and stomach aches. And when I try to think about specific events back home, I sometimes have trouble remembering, as if there's a gap in my memory. The burdens Yusef and Zalma mentioned are connected to their traumatic experiences. Our mental state can be symbolized as a backpack. Imagine that every person is carrying a backpack. Usually, we have different things in our backpacks – memories, worries and hopes. For unburdened people, the backpack is light, easy to carry and has enough space for new things. A trauma can fill your backpack with many different burdens, leaving little space for new experiences. The backpack can become heavy and sometimes it is hard to figure out how to remove the burdens again. This condition can be due to post-traumatic stress disorder. The following behaviors are signs of post-traumatic stress disorder. A person has been confronted with extraordinary danger. Since then, he finds himself reliving the situation over and over again, in nightmares or memories. People with post-traumatic stress disorder often try to avoid reminders of the trauma. Important parts of the traumatic experiences often can't be remembered clearly. Hyperarousal expressed in sleeping disorders or nervousness is a common complaint as well. These signs are called symptoms. They originate from an overreaction of the brain. 
After traumatic events, our brain is oversensitive and is always ready to react to new danger. This is a normal reaction to an abnormal experience. Have you experienced any of these symptoms yourself? If so, it could be helpful to talk to others in the same situation. That's why we are here today. My colleague and I are doctors and psychotherapists. We are bound to professional discretion. We are not allowed to tell anybody what you share with us. The same applies to interpreters. Today we would like to work with you on strategies which could help you to cope better with your symptoms. Some behaviors harm you more than they help you. Examples are avoidance, excessive worrying and social isolation, as well as alcohol or drug abuse. Suppression of your feelings and self-harm are also not helpful. Instead, you should use strategies which can help you in the long term. Exercise is good for me. I feel comfortable as a part of the soccer team. After the training, we often sit together and talk about our daily lives. Exercising outside also helps me to reduce my stress level. I looked for new things to do in my life. Our janitor often needs help, so I assist him. In addition to this, good music helps me to relax. My faith helps me to accept what happened to us. I see it as a difficult test which we passed. I'm trying to live a normal life again. My children give me hope for the future. I hope they will have a better life here and a bright future. I enjoy cooking and baking using traditional recipes from home. This brings back beautiful memories. Also, I set new goals for myself, such as completing my language course to the best of my ability. I would also like to start some kind of professional training soon. These are good coping strategies. However, if you suffer from your symptoms for months, it is possible that you could benefit from additional medical or psychotherapeutic help. Contact a general doctor or a social worker. They can transfer you to a psychotherapist. This is also important if you feel that you cannot control your anger and that you even might harm yourself or others. Many people are ashamed of their post-traumatic stress symptoms. However, there is no reason to be ashamed. You are not crazy. You are suffering from a medical problem which doctors and psychotherapists can explain and treat. There are ways to help. Group therapy, for example, can help you share experiences with others in similar situations. You will see that you are not alone and that others share your hardships too. Or perhaps you would prefer individual therapy. Here you can talk to your psychotherapist in private. If you and your therapist don't speak the same language, an interpreter can help. At first, it may seem strange to talk about yourself so much, but it is worth it. In therapy, you will learn to come to terms with your trauma and step by step, you will experience symptom relief. Of course, your backpack will not become light immediately. Yet piece by piece, you can explore the burdens inside your backpack and with the help of your therapist, you can figure out how to remove or transform the stones inside. <laughs>